Have you ever gone to a super haunted location and found an unmarked grave with a note possibly confessing to murder so you call the police, they come, they dig a little bit, and then they leave because bodies are dumped there all the time? Cause same. My name is Kelsey Davies and today we're going to be reliving one of the craziest experience that I have ever caught on camera. I hope you're ready for this. <laughs> Before we get into this, I just want to remind you that the Lola plushies and the hoodies are still available. Post a photo of you wearing it on social media and tag me and I will feature you. Also, huge shout out to our top tier channel members. Woo! Thank you guys so much for the support. If you want to become a channel member, you get access to exclusive emojis, exclusive videos, live streams, and more. Give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, ring that notification bell so you guys know when I post. Let's get into it. The year was 2019 when we decided to visit an oak tree that was said to be haunted due to its dark history. By haunted, like I mean really, really extremely haunted. This spot is infamous for the disposal of dead bodies. Yes, you heard that right. They had found 30 bodies dumped in the surrounding area around the tree. So why is this tree so cursed? Why? Oh my God, I need to calm down. Okay, but for real, why is this tree so haunted? And if you go there, there's an area with a bunch of stone ruins. That's where they actually had found another body previously, which I'll mention. For some reason, the locals believe that that this woman was a witch and so they got a lynch mob all together the townsfolk and then they decided to go to her doorstep drag her out of her house to the oak tree and then hang her then with her last breath she had cursed the land stating her soul will remain in the tree and in the house for all of eternity and the families of those who hung her for centuries to come will suffer dearly for what they had done to her i don't know how she would have said that on her last breath that would have been a very very long breath but I think they're just kind of saying like those were her last words. So supposedly the entire land around it is cursed and that's why it brings in so much darkness and despair. So, you know, we went there. Let's get into the footage. What have I done to you? <gasps> you have done nothing wrong to me. I just want to report something really bizarre we just came across. It's like a grave. I sound like such a little a baby here. It, Yeah, it looks like there's like a body buried under. I don't know. If oh, she's just a... Oh, wait, she's just a baby. She's just a baby. Aw, look at baby Kelsey. I was platinum blonde there. Oh man, I accidentally bleached off my hair. It fell out in the shower. So I haven't touched my hair since. We, we stand the platinum. I think it's cute. I don't know. Psst, hey you, you wanna come meet me in person? Well, I will be at the Warrens Paracon in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, September 27th to the 29th. Get your ticket now. The links are down below in the description and I can't wait to meet you and see you guys there. So today we are at a very haunted oak tree up in, is it Oak? Oak Glen. Oak Glen, not Oakland. <laughs> up in Oak Glen, California. This tree said to be haunted by a lot of people. People have gone missing here. People have been found hanging by this tree, have been found buried next to this tree. There's been countless bodies found here. We don't know how a lot of them died. A lot of them were just buried here. I forgot to mention, there's a bunch of articles online about the female that was found underneath a tree near like the stone area that I was telling you about where they think the witch used to live and a lot of people go there and they do rituals and have cult meetings and you go and you'll see all of these like witchcraft pentagrams, all these things in there. It's really, really weird and I don't know, it's interesting. Here's an article on it. Oak tree where woman's body was found has a reputation in Beaumont. The remains of a woman found July 15th in a shallow grave north of Beaumont were located under the same sprawling oak that shelters the ruins of an old stone house. The graffiti plastered ruins, party trash, ash fire pits. Yep, it's like a, it's a wreck now. It's my understanding that the grave was located directly under that tree, the tree with the stone structure under it. They could not identify this woman because of how decayed her body was. And this had happened a couple years prior to us visiting. So they were asking to help identify her. She had a color tattoo of two red roses from a single stem on her right forearm following a forensic examination. It was determined that she was white
white or of Hispanic descent and was approximately 5'4 and weighed between 185 to 210 pounds. She had dark brown shoulder length hair and brown eyes. She was in a dark tank top and sports bra combination with pink lace scalloping around the neck, blue denim pants, and black Nike shoes. So I don't think they found the cause of death. So over where Ashley is, I've caught some orbs on camera. I'm gonna share those with you guys. I remember like how it was just so heavy. Yeah, literally over Every here. time we've come to this tree, it's just been this weird, I just described it, I was like this insane energy because it, it was just so chaotic. And back then I didn't understand my clairvoyance. I would feel things and not understand it. So I was trying to vocalize it in a way that people could understand. Here. What in the world? What is this? It's like glass. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we always find a weird thinking. stuff around Are you serious? the tree too. Right Is it like um Yeah, there was a lady buried here not too long ago. Wait, is the lady still buried here? Oh, they did. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were gonna go find the lady. Not me thinking they just left her there. Like really, Kelsey. Behind us there? Yeah. Hello? Is there anyone out here with us? Whisper say yeah. Yeah, it's over here, right? Yeah, over there. Heard you that. heard it too? <laughs> oh, I swear it's not it's hard because you don't it's usually weird. catch everything on camera. Over. It's kind of weird. This is crazy, this tree. I remember how fascinated I was with all the roots of the tree. I was just like staring at it half the time. I just would feel all these things and I didn't understand it. Like if only little Kelsey knew. Yeah. I know, if it's only really... She knew. What was that? Is I remember we heard footsteps. It sounded like, a, it wasn't like an animal. Cause you know, like the bushes will shake if there's like an animal in there. So then you can debunk that. But I remember hearing footsteps around and everyone else heard them too. But I don't think the camera really picked them up. It was a weird place. I heard it no, it sounded like someone was walking over here. I was Yeah, what was that? Like a branch broke or something. Something was walking. Yeah. Yeah, we heard like a, oh, like a twig really snap. Energy. Did you guys notice there's multiple branches cut off the oak tree and that may just be because the branches were dead? But whose tree is this like? Who's really keeping up with the shit? Yeah, these are like cut off. Who would come out and just cut the branches? Yeah, that was weird how a lot of them were cut off when it's just, it's a random tree. It's not like owned by anyone, maybe the city. It's just kind of in the middle of nowhere. So it was weird that some of the branches were cut off, especially with its history. The witch wasn't the only person that was found hanging there. There were a lot of other people as well. Flashing the different thoughts. <gasps> Did you hear that? It's not like a branch, like, yeah. Yeah, like up in the tree. It's like freezing right here. You feel it? That's just the West yeah. Virus it's like right here. Thanks, Tyler. I just heard Tyler. Tyler. Yeah. Well, Kelsey, it's just a virus. You're fine. There's a lot of weird things in here. Ooh. Yeah, every time yeah, we go, there's always just weird objects. Um, I think the last, last time, because we went back years later and we found this uh, old binder with like pliers inside, but with a bunch of children's homework. It was really, really unsettling. The shirt over there or something. Do you see that? Yeah. What is that? I want to try to get over there. As of last year, it's on shallow graves. Uh, yeah, a lot of burned. There's, there's a lot of things here? that were burned too. Thirty. It was surrounding the tree. Oh, like, like thirty! Oh my God, there's a shirt. <gasps> what in the world? It looks like it's like. Okay. Whoa. I think it's suspicious that there were clothes, clothes being burned. What the hell? I look think that they were like halfway clothes. burned. I would not even be Doesn't surprised. Doesn't that look bloody? It looks like it's like light there and then dark here. It looks like a bloody shirt. It does look like a bloody like, shirt. Or is it red? I think it was red. I but would, like, there's shorts underneath. Oh my God, is that But hair? then again, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> is that, what is that? <laughs> oh, are you sure shirt? not me foreshadowing my hair falling out with the hair on the floor? That's literally what it looked like too. My 
my platinum hair. That was it. It looks like hair. <laughs> I don't think it was hair, Kells. That's hair. It's stuck in there. <laughs> I don't know what, what it is. What is that? So I'm just wondering why there's a blanket there's, oh my God, stepping the... on the bloody shirt. <gasps> okay, I actually think hell? that that's a bloody shirt right here. Yeah, me so too. Yeah, there's like shorts the under it too. I was freaking out. That looks like hair. It looks like blonde hair. Why, why is there so many clothes? Top? Look at it. Like, oh my God, that is a bikini top. What the hell? I don't know. <gasps> Look, this is... Like I get some people probably would throw trash out there and stuff as well. So I we're keeping that in mind, but a lot of it's just eerie. It still gives me weird vibes. Like a backpack. Do you see that? Tyler, come open this backpack. There's a zipper. I'm not opening any <laughs> Well, come here and open it, cause I don't Does want anyone to. Have gloves? Thank we might have just found murder evidence. Oh my God, I was stepping on that. Why is just you wait. <laughs> Jeremy, get another stick. There's something. What the hell is that? But what in the... What the... Oh my god. Why would you burn this, though? Is that blood in there? I thought it was all blood. What is that? Let me see. Look at it. It's stained. And it's dark red. What if this is like murder evidence and someone just burned it? He's trying to name it. Very possible. It's like very, another very backpack possible. in a shirt. You can't. Oh, those are pants. <gasps> what? They're burned pants. Oh my God, the pants. The pants. I was just like so freaked out over every little item. <laughs> He's here with us. Jamie? Jane? Jane? Were you murdered here? I don't here? know what the woman's name was. <laughs> That said Mario, and keep that name in mind as we keep going. Yeah, yeah. I heard yeah. <laughs> what are these clothes that we're standing on? Are these your clothes? Are these... <laughs> what's under? Just like watching this back and knowing the outcome is crazy. It said Mario, please help me look under. Uh, keep that in mind. <laughs> this is like one of the craziest like, videos under. I've ever posted. A kid's toy. <gasps> what? Oh my god. Right by my foot. That's really disturbing. It's like a little toy. There's a little kid's toy. It's like a lamb. I have a feeling if this didn't belong to a dead body oh my or god. somebody that was murdered here, there was some sort of satanic ritual or sacrifice stuff. Or someone was right here. Yeah. Oh my god. Without a doubt. <laughs> oh my god, did you hear that? What? It sounded like a no. little kid yelling. Oh yeah, we heard like we just a, heard kid. a little kid yelling. yelling. Oh my gosh. Wait, guys, I that wait, guys, wait. Was that coming from my my box? No, it was like behind. No, it was over there. What is this? Oh my god. I gotta go back to the front. I think that was a little boy. Okay, guys, we heard a kid yelling. And we just brought up the toy. The toy. We just discovered the toy. Oh my god. Can someone hold that? And, okay. and then when you go here too, people find fingerprints. That's a really common thing that you'll see at a lot of locations is like people will find children's fingerprints on cars. I think it was in this time we visited, we actually experienced having handprints on the back of, I think it was one of our friend's cars. I think we'll get to that. <laughs> Did I say help? I thought it just said healthy. Oh, I'm standing on the shirt. <laughs> Over 30 people killed here. Death. Dad. That was clear. Dad. What was that? That was like a kid singing. I kept I heard hearing this kid. Yeah. We both did. It was right when we had the box on, so it was so hard to like hear it over the box. Oh my god. What Did you hear that? I thought that was you. No. Oh yeah, I think that was a voice. Yeah. Oh my god. It's like, ow. Oh my god, is that a bat? Oh, it's like flying. It's a That's what bats do, honey. With like a fireplace. Oh, so this is the stone house, like remains, ruins? Remains? The ruins of the stones. This is where the witch supposedly lived. It was like a checkpoint. 
the checkpoint? The stage coaches back in the day or something. Right? Really? That's what I heard. Here's another tree. I wonder if people hung them. Yeah, so there's like a bunch of different, I don't know. I don't think anyone really knows what this building originally is. Some people said it's for stagecoaches back in the day and then some were like, it's a witch's house. So it's all kind of up in the air with exactly what it was. Oh, what is that? Do you see that? <laughs> What the hell? Why are there Ew. so many tampons? Obviously, this is a place to change tampons. Well, maybe this is some ritual with their, <laughs> with their blood. Yeah. They use their period blood. Sorry, my entire, I heard like this loud bang in my apartment. And then it felt like the floor vibrated. That must be a neighbor. So that has to be a neighbor. The whole floor is like shaking. Anyway, blood back to the ritual. period blood so tampon. This is a place to, to change tampons. Well, maybe this is some ritual with their <laughs> with their blood. Yeah. They use their period blood as a ritual. <laughs> Guys, I don't think these were here before. Yeah, these no, are the fingerprints. Oh, they like, touch this part. But they look like yeah, little these tiny. These are his. Look at these are big. These are really yeah, like, small. Are you shutting the this up here. Yeah, those look like small. Because that's hand smaller hands. than actually smaller. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, these are really tiny. Hands and look I over here. Look, look at that. that. Like what is that? Wait, what is that? The hell? That looks like tiny little. It looks like little fingerprints. And over here, we heard that kid like yell. That one looks like smaller. Yeah, we heard the kid. Look at those. Could not be. I have. Yeah, but they're chubby. Smaller than hers. They're smaller than mine, for sure. So there was a crashed airplane that we saw on like the satellite image. So we were gonna go try to find the the airplane as if it was still there. I don't know. You know what? We were just we're trying, but we were trying to find that airplane. And then this is when shit goes down. Or something. We want to check it out, and we stopped because we saw a grave on the side of the road. It looks like a body is buried here because it's covered with rock and there's just a cross. Like it doesn't even say a name. You know, if it was somewhere else, like if it was on an old property or something that was not public or, you know what I mean? I think that we'd stopped because it was just really weird to have an unmarked grave in the middle of nowhere in this area. And there were no other ones, you know? So it was, it was just weird. Like it's really bizarre. Mm -hmm. And there was no name, it was just makeshift. That's what I'm concerned about. Look at that. See that? See that. It looks like clothing even. Do you think it's clothing? What the hell is that? There's a body under here. I know, it's like, I feel sick. It's like raised dirt. Yeah, I could okay, not. I, I remember I couldn't breathe. I just felt nauseous because it was just something was so off about it. Feeling about this, guys. Oh my god, it actually feels Ooh. sick. Look over here. It's dirt right here. Okay, my heart's doing that. Thing. Heart's like beating. Oh my gosh. I'm like reliving it. Yeah, I just hope that. If we just found a dead body, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that. Sure. It's like it was there for a while. Guys, we might have just found a dead body that's... I don't know. It's kind of weird. There's no... I don't know. I've seen graves like this on the sides, but like not with all these rocks and everything, you know? I don't know. This is just weird. And like you said, there is raised dirt. Like... Yeah, there's raised dirt underneath. Yeah, we're there's all, no like, way no confused. one's seen this before, you know? Like I know, it's but it's like kind of long for an animal. It's actually really big. Yeah, we were thinking like someone buried their dog or an animal, maybe they hit a deer or something and then they decided to bury it, but it just didn't, it was not adding up. We don't know if we just found a body. Wait, what was that? <laughs> that was, the <laughs> was it really? <laughs> we needed some comedic relief. <laughs> oh, no, Tyler needed some relief too, I guess. Oh, I don't know, like I, what if it's an animal? It's like a hey, deer. What's this? What? Oh my god, there's like a piece of paper underneath this rock. Somebody got it. Someone a piece got it. of paper? What is that? <gasps> it's a note. Uh-oh. Chills. Are they like admitting to it? What is Should that? we read it? Oh my god. It's a note. <gasps> oh my god. What have I done to you? <gasps> you have done nothing wrong to me, Lord. Wait, whoa, 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 what? We need to call. What does it like, say? Like, why would somebody write that? I am saved, loved, and forgiven. Mario, tell me. 
What have I done to you? You have done nothing wrong to me, Lord. Is there more in there? And they're writing like, I am forgiven. I am saved. Hey, that, you know, this is their way of being okay with what they had done because they'd done something so horrible that they're like, I'm saved and forgiven. And then the name Mario came through on that, the spirit box earlier. And then uh, it's just everything adding up. It said, look under all these things. And then it all just correlated to this. That is just, even today I look back and I'm like, that is just chilling. That is, I mean, unexplainable, you know? Should we leave the note or should we? I don't think there was anything else in the note. Well, yeah. well, we have it on video. Oh, like, we didn't, you know. Guys, I'm shaking. What the yeah, hell? You we should call. Holy crap. She's scared. Even if it's like an animal, at least we report it in case it's a human. This isn't yeah, I don't know any animal named Mario. Yeah, no, I don't think so. I think I was trying to just comfort myself. I just want to report something really bizarre we just came I across. The it's like that a I added. grave that's unmarked and there's a bunch of rocks. We lifted up one of the rocks, like a note, kind of like apologizing, apologizing for something. I don't know if, like it, yeah, it looks like there's like a body buried under. I don't know if there is. We didn't really want to check that out, but we did see a note and it just kind of made us a little there? concerned. Are you still there right now? Yes. Okay, so you found the note under a rock. There's a cross. There's no name or anything. It's just like a really, it Stay looks like it's like stapled to together. Yeah. So I just got off the phone with the police. They're going to come. We're going to stay. If there's nothing underneath, that'd be like really great news. You know, at least we reported it and we're careful. But if there is, then that's, let's just hope there isn't. It's just really, really sad to see this. Then the police come. You know. Typical night. They thought it was weird too. They were like, this is weird. I feel like it was there for like months or a year because of all the leaves. And they started digging. Can we just like, the police came and started digging for this dead body. We're all just shitting ourselves in the corner. We were there for, a, I mean, how many hours were we there? Cause we were waiting for them and then we were waiting for them to dig. They dug and oh my God, it was just a wild night. The shovel's ready too. <laughs> That's so iconic of them. So it's the next morning and we were all there like pretty late. So the cops, they ended up digging, but they got to like rock that they couldn't get through and they just stopped digging because they, they dug like three feet. They didn't dig anymore. We think the body might've been under the rocks. Yeah, so they basically told us cause they started digging and they kept going and then they started hitting like, it started getting more hard under there as if someone, maybe someone buried something underneath, put a layer of rocks, then built it up, put another layer of rocks because they didn't want this body to be found or whatever they buried. Once they got to that point, they were like, you know what, we don't have the best equipment. And as they were digging underneath, there were like, there was a gum wrapper under there, maybe three feet down. Down, I want to say so that was weird too. We were all like why would that gum wrapper be down there if no one was down there? So that's why we were like what the fuck and then the police they kind of stopped and they were like You know what? We don't have the best equipment for this bodies are found here all the time And then they just kind of left and that was it So um, we went back one time and we brought some other shovels We dug like a foot or something But it was really hard because we could not get through whatever is down there and so we just like stopped we all felt like things were not resolved. So we decided to go back last year and just see if we could find the grave or where we dug, anything like that, to see if maybe it's been moved or altered in any way. Maybe the murderer came back and like readjust. I don't know. We just had all these little conspiracy theories. And as I mentioned before, we ended up finding some very strange objects. There's a lot of wood. Wood? <gasps> Marjorie? We had Marjorie. Like, I think we had three That's spirit crazy. talkers going and oh, it was wild how they would shit. kind of <laughs> um, go with each other. It was interesting. <laughs> Fuck that, Aunt. Oh. We liked your equipment. <gasps> what did that just say? We like, we like your equipment. Oh, well, maybe it's the cameras. Yeah. Maybe I could put out a REM pod or something by like the tree. Yeah. Guys, there's like a patch of dirt here that's like super fresh. I don't know why it looks like this, but it's... 
People are finding things everywhere. Yeah, everyone was yeah, finding the things because we had a whole Why big group like at this place. But nowhere else. If you guys ever visit this place, please go with a big group because of its history and it's just not a safe area to go when you're just with one other person or by yourself. Please bring a bunch of people. It's just oh, that way. Like, what's going on? I know there's so many things. Photos. Photos. <laughs> yeah, there was a whole binder of like, oh. oh my goodness. Oh, my little baby booty. Little it kind of looks like. Oh, it's so you could save 15% or more on car insurance. Is there a name inside of it? Is it paper? Maybe it says someone's name. Wait, this is like an elementary school. You will see me. You will see me? Is it that literally said, said that to me too. You see the me? Same thing. Yo, you see me? what? This is like a year's worth of school. Yeah, there's all is this. Is this a bad time work? to say? I like, why would someone dump me. that there? Yeah. I wonder if his name's in here. Oh, what did Wait, just what did say? that say? Locked. Guys, so this, this is, this like, is like elementary. Yo, look at his name. What does that say? Right. Something Costa. I keep Costa, but why is this binder out here? Who would leave this? You know. This is like a kid in kindergartner or something. And then this Why is where it gets weird. Thing? What is that? Wait, that? what? <gasps> oh, wait, uh, what is that thing? It's like a putty knife. Wait, what? Like there were oh gloves. God. Wait, why is this in the binder? Why are you what touching it? Don't touch it. Yeah, maybe, Don't maybe touch not touch this. What is all that? There's just so Ten many bodies life. that are found here and so well, many people's What's things. this black? What is that? <gasps> Dad. Well, the shoes definitely right, don't. The shoes definitely don't match. Yeah, yeah the gloves shoes are really big. Yeah. What is this thing right here? I don't know. It's like, why, why is, is it attached what that to is. this? Why and it's attached to. That's where the black. Oh, one that's one. right. Oh, and it's like attached to the shoe and you know how some people make sh makeshift things to like tighten things around the neck now that i'm watching it back i don't know if i said that then that's why the shoe would be attached to it the shoelace maybe they would you know what I mean? Haven't you seen that in movies and stuff, right? But it's like, world? is that socks? Yeah, yeah. socks, gloves. Is it, is it inside of like a fanny pack? Or is that four. a binder? Four. Was he four? Back How old was he? You said you wait, just heard a little boy. Here? I heard a little Spiders. boy over there. Wait, why is this stuff? I don't like, know if it's right associated. There's like something metal in here. There's someone's shoe. There's a car coming. There's like pliers in here. What? Oh wait, my that's God. scissors. That's scissors. <gasps> scissors? Why did, wait, what's all over it? What is all over those scissors? It's rusted. I don't want to touch it. Wait, hold on. Yeah, look at my... Guys, be careful, because this yeah, could so be something really bizarre. bizarre. That's what I'm saying. Yo, what is this shit? Yeah, the pliers that were all wait, stuck. Wait, blood on it? Stop. Yo. No. And bent. No. That's right. Wait. Those are sheer Here, It's like put sticky this, looking. Put this no, it in. looks like there's put some this. substance on it. I really wait, why is it blood. on the sock? Look at the fucking sock. It's oh, all over it. What is going oh on? God, is oh, my God. Yeah, that there's something else in here. Guys, wait. What is... Oh, my God. I, I can't. There's, like, something else in here, too. What is this? Why is this with the kids binder in the shoe? Okay, but why does the fuck like that? I don't know if that's Yeah, just, like, see, that was just disturbing because why? Why? Even though, uh, God, you know what? I know some people would be like, oh, it was just dumped there, or, you know, whatever. But why would the pliers and all these things be inside of a children's binder filled with children's work? Like, it looked like a teacher or something, you know? It's just, it doesn't add up. It really doesn't. Right side of I'm just going to ask the spirit talker yeah, out. Been. I don't even understand why this would all be in one spot unless like the kid's dad was like painting something. But why would it be out there? I don't know. Like, like what would he be painting? All over those fires? Why is there... Why does it look like there's shit all leave over? Leave me alone. <gasps> what? Oh. Maybe leave it alone? That's like severe. That entire thing is twisted right there. Yeah. You have to be really strong to do that. Yeah, I don't know how it got to it. It's like hard. Sure. But like, what is all over that? It's like, you know when blood like dries and it turns yeah. like brown? Yeah. And it kind of looks rusty? No yeah. Wonder. I heard dad. dad. And I got dad earlier on the spirit talker. It said dad. Is he looking for his dad maybe? More energy. That's what that said. Bad spirits here. That concludes this video. If you want to see the full episodes, the links are down below in the description. Please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so that you guys know when I post. And I will see you in the next video.